I'm Rachel Lin, Cebu SMK San Elizabeth Form 5 student. Good evening and thank you for joining me today as we delve into the remarkable history of the Brook Dynasty in Sarawak, particularly in relation to the independent state of Sarawak, which is celebrated on the July 22nd. The Brook Dynasty, led by the White Raja, plays a pivotal role in shaping the destinies of this land and its people. Their enduring legacy is a testament to their vision, dedication, and lasting impact on Sarawak's journey towards independence. The story begins in the early 19th century when James Brooke arrived in Sarawak, then a part of the Brunei Empire. James Brooke, an English adventurer, set foot on the shores of Sarawak in 1839 and soon found himself drawn to the region's natural beauty and rich culture. Through his courage and diplomacy, he gained the trust and respect of the local people and was appointed as the Raja of Sarawak in 1841. Under the Brook Dynasty, Sarawak witnessed an era of transformation and progress, which ultimately set the stage for its independence. The White Raja, starting with James Brook and continued by his successor, Charles Brook, Charles Daniel Brook, and Anthony Brook introduce a series of reforms that aim to improve the life of the people and promote the developments of that region. One of the most significant contributions of the Brook Dynasty was the commitment to justice and fair governance. They established a legal system, ensuring that the rule of law prevailed across the land, their efforts to protect the rights of the indigenous communities and promote social harmony laid a solid foundation for Sarawak's quest for independence. During their reign, the White Rajas faced challenges and conflicts. Notably, in the late 19th century, Sarawak faced external threats as neighboring powers sought to assert control over the region. However, the Brook Dynasty successfully defended Sarawak's autonomy, preserving its unique identity and culture. Their unwavering determination and resilience inspired the people of Sarawak to cherish their independence and work towards a brighter future. The Brook Dynasty reign also marked significant strides in economic development. They recognized the immense potential of Sarawak's natural resources and sought to harness them for the benefits of the people. Plantations were established, infrastructure was improved, and trade flourished leading to increased prosperity and self-sufficiency. This economic process progress led the groundwork for Sarawak's future independence. Furthermore, the White Raja were avid supporters of education. They established school and encouraged the spread of knowledge, empowering the people of Sarawak to pursue their aspiration and actively participate in the nation's building process. Their focus on education fostered a sense of unity and shared purpose among the diverse ethnic groups of Sarawak, ultimately contributing to the drive for self-governance. In 1941, the Brook Dynasty ran come to an end with the Japanese occupation during World War II, temporarily interrupting Sarawak path to independence. However, the legacy of the Brook Dynasty remains deeply ingrained in the hearts and minds of the Sarawakian people. The aspirations for self-determination persisted, and on the 1963 July 22nd, Sarawak took a history step towards independence by joining the Federations of Malaysia. The journey towards independence was undoubtedly challenging. It demanded unity, courage, and perseverance from the people of Sarawak. However, the groundwork laid by the Brook Dynasty provided a solid foundation for this transformational moment in Sarawak history. The White Raja's commitments to justice, economic development, and education paved the way for Sarawak to assert its place as an independent state within the larger Malaysian Federation. Today, as we celebrate Sarawak's independent days on the July 22nd, we honor the contributions of the Brook Dynasty and the struggles of the Sarawakian people. Their determination and resilience have shaped the vibrant and prosperous Sarawak we know today. Thank you for listening.